Hi there guys, welcome back to uh, my channel. We've got a, a new update on the A1200NG. Um, as you can see on my screen at the moment, um, I've done various bits and pieces, but we'll get to that in a sec. Right, what I want to show you today, if you go down to uh, System, this is also on the A600GS as well. There's a new option been added um, it now shows you what size uh, SD card you've got inside your machine and how much you've got available. So that's a useful little tool now so you know how much space you've got available on your SD card. Um, as you can see I've got a 200, uh, 256 uh, gigabyte uh, card in mine. Okay so that's one of the new little features I think is quite useful and helpful. Right, my uh, other one, the other um, option what's been added to the A12NG, uh, if we go into uh, games and we actually um, start, I'm going to start a demo. Um, as you can see, it says don't, uh, don't uh, panic demo. So we'll start it. And the other thing is, as you can see, I've now got an extra picture uh, showing you the actual 1200 actually in use with my hands all, all around it. Um, as you can see, it is an actual 1200. You can see it's got Ethernet input and me graph uh, um, monitor input. Um, it does go inside the casing. Then you've got your USB, you've got your mouse and your external sound. Um, right, so we've got a bit of music. So on your um, keypad or joypad, you can still press your menu button as normal. Okay, but there is a nice feature what has been added to it. I will show you in a sec. Right, if I press F10 on the actual Amiga keyboard, it now pops up with the main menu as well. So if we quit out, and I'll show you where that is exactly. So go down to languages and keyboard. Okay, so the new option, what's been added in, okay, it says uh, your right control as right, uh, right Amiga. Um, and then if I click on ticket, you can then see it's, it's a new mapping control. So you can actually map out the key you want it to do the um, pop-up menu so you can insert a disk or quit the game or whichever you wish to do. Um, it exactly works the same as on the actual main, uh, on your main pad as well. So if I click where it says F10 at the moment, oh, sorry, better reframe that, it's click. I want to use right control as the uh, map. So basically, as long as you've got it highlighted, you can then select uh, combination keys. Uh, you can do your uh, shift and F10. And as you can see on the screen, it's changed. Um, if you do it again, then you can change it from control to F10. Yeah, um, or you can have it as F2, F5, F10, like I've already done. And you should even be able to have help. Well, they call it insert, but I click the help button. But to be honest with you, I'm going to stick with F10. So that's just a little extra feature uh, being added to make my 1200 more compatible. So I don't have no um, PC keyboard attached to this system anymore. I don't need it. Um, so that's one extra thing. I've now enjoyed with the the system so to get to it if you wish to um, check it again so if we go back to game load up okay wait for the demo screen so if I press F10 now it comes up with your pause menu and then you can uh, quit save whichever you wish uh, if I click resume, okay, and if I press it again once more, F10, and then you can use your um, uh, cursor keys to uh, move it up or down, as you can see. 
and press enter to resume. And then if you press your uh, pad key, your menu button, it does exactly the same. So you can scroll up or down, whichever you prefer. Resume. Okay, so there's my demo. The other thing I want to show you as well, they've uh, added to the Amiga. So you can now do an actual reset. So if everything goes right, um, if I use my um, shift Amiga keys, wrong one, sorry, control, control AA. Okay, as you can see, it now resets. Okay, so control AA. So it's left Amiga, right Amiga. And uh, that works a treat. So F10 to quit takes you back to the menu. Hopefully you'll see a bit more uh, other bits and pieces uh, coming. Um, I've also, you can see, I did mention this in my last video. Uh, I've made a, there's an icon for it properly now. Uh, booting a real um, Grease Weasley integrated uh, floppy drive. Um, but that was in my last video. So hopefully this little video just gave you a taster of um, a little bit of new stuff just been added in the last few days. And it makes my life so much easier. I do not need to now use an external um, PC keyboard at all now. I can just physically do everything on the keypad now. Okay, have a nice day and uh, look forward to uh, doing another video. And hopefully you come back and watch some more. Bye-bye for now.